Hope you guys got the Clark Grizzled reference from Christmas Vacation right there. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to DIY Read. My name is Reed, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I cover a range of topics, including tech reviews, home automation, and how-to videos in both home and automotive. In this video, we have some Gobi lights that help me light up my house for any occasion. Gobi was founded in 2017, and this is a company that aims to provide a personalized and fun life experiences through continuous innovation through smart home areas, especially ambient lighting. We'll be showing you all the products that we installed of Gobi's and some of the lighting features, show you some of the installation process and tips. We'll take a look at the smartphone app and show you all the features about that, and I'll share my final thoughts at the very end. All the products we use in this video will be listed in the description below, so you can check it out yourself. Here are the products that we'll be taking a look at in this video. First, we have the permanent outdoor lights that go on the house, outdoor ground lights that light up the pathway, outdoor spotlights for the side of the house or a big uh, flat portion of the house, and the outdoor neon rope light to tie it all together. Since all these lights are outdoor lights, they all come with a IP65 or IP67 weatherproof rating, depending on which lighting setup that you have. One of the cool things with Gobi lights is that they have their own little ecosystem, which allow you to sync up multiple different types of lights that they have to offer through their DreamView. And so if you want to sync all of your lights together, you can do it through DreamView. I will say they kind of limit you a little bit on what syncs. Uh, right now you can see the control devices or the four devices I have. And then right now I have thunder and rain, which is kind of, it's raining now. I was trying to get this in before it rained. I got a little bit, I got the intro done, but um, we can do spring shower, a drizzle. Uh, they have natural, which has uh, forest, ocean, starry sky, bonfire. We got motion, dreamland, soothing, all that. And then we got festival, which Halloween and Christmas. And it's kind of cool. The Christmas one shows you, show you right now. And it's going to play that music too as well. It's kind of cool. But it shows you what you're seeing and everything is tied together and it kind of shows that it's in unison. Before you install any of these lights, you'll want to make a plan of where you're going to put them, how you're going to install them, and keep in mind where you're going to power them up with. The permanent outdoor lights were the toughest to plan out just because of how my house soffits are set up. However, in the installation, other than that, getting on the ladder and in that type of stuff was pretty easy. Permanent lights come in 16.4 foot strands and in the box, you also get a 16.4 extension. I used the extension to link my first story lights with my second story lights. Each light has a 3M VHB tape to stick the lights to just about any surface on your house. The recommended distance off the house is about two to four inches. I cut down a piece of wood to use a template so that way it's nice and easy and quick. They do provide these small clip holders that they recommend putting at every four lights to keep the lights up. Before installing the lights, it's recommended to plug them in and test them out to make sure that they're all working properly. With the ground lights and the spotlights, they come with ground stakes to push them into the ground. The ground lights I lined with my entry sidewalk and my spotlights I put on the side of my house where there really is no other lights. I originally was going to use the rope light for my back deck. However, for this video, I went ahead and put it in my rock garden area just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. The best part of having the lights installed is that I can use them year round. I hate having to get on a ladder each year to put up and take down my Christmas lights. You're always trying to find the right time in November-ish and making sure that's warm weather outside. Otherwise, you're out there freezing on a ladder and that's no fun. And then January come time to take them down, they're freezing again. There's just no warm days. Now I can light up my house for any occasion. Govi has preset lighting for holidays such as Christmas, 4th of July, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. Once we get into the app, I'll show you how you can even customize your own themes as each LED bulb is addressable. I will now be able to alternate the colors of my favorite sports team the night of each game to show my support. Let's go ahead and take a look at the smartphone app. So here's the Govi app right here. And as you can see, I have four different lights set up right now. And you can see they're they're connected by via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So I will say when you uh, set these lights up, when you plug them in, you initially find them on your phone via the app, via Bluetooth, and then it'll go through the procedure of connecting it to your home Wi-Fi. They all have on and off buttons here, so I can quickly turn them on and off. I will say that here, let's go to automation. So you can set up automations to turn the lights on and off during a certain amount of time uh, and certain days. Now over here, I have all of them set up right here. So I can, I can actually click in on them and it'll connect to the actual device. And right now I can see my rope light is currently off and I'll tap the power button here and now it's on. And you got different kinds of scenes here. You got music and it will go off of music as well. It has a little microphone on the actual button itself. 
and you got colors, different colors you can set up. Right now I got K-State colors, so you're allowed to address each little individual little LED strip portion of it on there. And then you have different scenes here. So that are, these are pre-scenes that are set up. I got rainbow going on, but they have different festival, uh, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, birthday, all that type of stuff, fireworks, life. You got different kinds here. And then emotion. All of the four different devices that I have all have different, well, similar, different pre-setups, as well as some have more than others. So we're going to go ahead and look here. You got the effects lab that you can go in here and you can check uh, different seasons, buildings, flowers. So you can go to flowers and it'll tell you all the colors it has. Sports, show you kind of basketball what colors that they are. Um, billiards, marine life. So if you wanted a sea slug right there, it'll show you all those colors. You can go ahead and pick those real quick. Festival. Um, so it'll so go through New Year's and what it's all going to be using. Now, also you got timer, so I can set it up to turn off at a certain amount of time. So if I'm on right now, I can say turn off in an hour. Um, you can have wake up and sleeping mode. And so we have a snapshot list here. So right now I just have KSU. I have Kansas State Wildcats saved. So it's purple and white, purple and white. I can do one that's red, white, and blue for 4th of July, or like I did for Memorial Day weekend. Um, you can save those here. So that way if you have one for chiefs, right? Uh, you can get those and quickly ad access those. You can also make your own on the fly, too. They have a segmented section and then an advanced section. So the advanced section will allow you to do each individual LED, and then you can decide which color you want to use. You can even turn off certain sections of it. So, like, on the permanent lights, if you only want some that are just, like, white lights for a non-color effect or whatever, you can just have accent lights on your house. And then let's go ahead. So the ground lights are pretty similar to that. Um, as you turn them on, you get the same effects. It's got a microphone. It says microphone. It uses a microphone for the, for the music. So you play music and the microphone picks it up. So all these lights will dance to the music and the beat of the music and all that type of stuff. So again, we got the scenes here. We can, right now we just got rainbow. We can set, set it to whatever we want. Lifestyle, festival, and emotion. You can do all that. And then here's the lower of the, well, the permanent lights. And we turn those on. And this is an, underneath color section area. And as you can see here, I have red, white, and blue for the custom one. And it looks like kind of like American flag. Um, you might be able to see that now. I might have it up here, but, and I can address these. I can also turn off certain ones if I wanted to. And right here, you can do an effect of clockwise where it runs clockwise, counterclockwise. It'll breathe. Uh, you can it'll cycle through the different colors. It'll change through gradient. And then it'll twinkle as well if you want it to twinkle. It just depends. You can change the speed as well. Uh, it just depends on what effect that you want with the lights. So that's the app in a nutshell. Here are my final thoughts. Overall, I'm really impressed with the amount of light that these products put out. I'm very impressed with the dynamic lighting effects that each item provides. Not only do they have scenes already pre-set up, but they allow you to create your own custom designs and save them for later. Installation for the most part is easy and simple. Just as long as you don't get scared of heights, depending on how high up you have to put these lights. I can't wait to have different scenes for different times of the year, like colors of my favorite sports team, when they play, holidays such as 4th of July, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and so on. I did find the overall quality of these products to be made very well. If you found the video helpful, please leave me a like and feel free to ask any questions in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing for more tech reviews, home automation, and home and automotive how-to videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.